Hey everyone! Welcome to Rise of the Nations. It's been a while. I love this game actually. It's, it's just been so long since I played it, but I, I started playing it last night after uh, over a year. And yeah, let me just select something. So I know I play Japanese for rushing, because like you get you get 7% cheaper guys, they're faster, bonus damage versus buildings. Basically perfect for rushing. Cheap farms too. Um, I really like the Chinese, because I get large cities, which means it's like anti-rush, plus instant citizens. But there are lots of good cities out here. Let's see, Americans' first wonders built instantly. Governments are free. Bombers... Okay, okay, one sec. Okay, okay. I just have to do a sound check real quick. So let's see, I'm probably going to play Chinese. And difficulty is going to be tougher. Just to make this game interesting, I'll make it 3v3. These are bots, by the way, in case you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> um, it's kind of hard to play this game online nowadays. Like, I can play on Game Ranger, and I'm pretty sure there's still legitimate online for this, but uh, I don't know. I just find it easier to play versus bots for now. Maybe in the future I'll get some humans in here too. So yeah, I like Chinese. I'm just trying to see if I can mix it up with anything else. Like, Germans get really good booms going. Cities gathered extra plus 5 of food, timber, and metal. Building completion bonus of 50%. Yeah, like, that's pretty strong. Very, very good economy. Um, I'm gonna play Germans. Let's do this. Standard 4 player or large 5 through 6 player? Uh, I like smaller maps. I know we have 6 players, but I really like smaller maps. So what I'm going to do is just customize the rules. By the way, Rise of Nations, in my opinion, is the most well-made real-time strategy game ever. Like, ever. It has the most, the most settings um, that you can play with. Basically, the most versatile options with any game I've seen, honestly. And so I'm going to turn off Territory Victory, or rather increase it to like 80%. Because normally it's seventy percent. That that can get a uh, a little bit too easy once it's once it's two v two. I don't know. This is gonna be three v three though. Uh, I don't like huge maps. Hmm. I'm gonna keep it on standard for the three v three. All right, let's do this. Uh, just a heads up. I am. Rec oh, wait, wait. Solduri. Oh, I didn't see that properly. Okay, let's play. All right, Rise of Nations. So it has some really great soundtracks. You guys have seen me play this before, right? But like, I'm just I just want to talk about the game a little bit. It has really great soundtracks, really realistic gameplay too, and I just love how you can progress through so many ages. Uh, very well made game. So my partner here is Aztecs, and the other guy is Buntu. Um, if we want, we can see the bonuses for them here. So Buntu plus one city limit, 100%. Double population limit, um, units move 25% faster, okay great, what about the other guy? 15 bonus resource per age, plunder when enemy buildings, oh, okay, plunder increased by 100%, start with military research, free light infantry whenever you build a new barracks, oh, that's, that's pretty cool, um, very interesting. Alright, so I got enough wood, I already capped out my wood, that was pretty quick actually. I'm just gonna expand and get a new city. Can I walk through here? Yes! Awesome, awesome. Okay. So city time. I am Germans, right? Oh, that's why I maxed it out so fast. That makes sense now. Okay. So this is a perfect map for mining gold and stuff. I mean mining metal. I remember I used to play only Incas a while ago. And Incas would get gold as well as metal when you mine, like, in mines. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go straight from market here. So I got my commerce. Yeah, I'm going from market there. I'm gonna increase my wood supply here. I can make a few farms and I guess I'll, I'll just advance straight away. Um, so what I noticed is I either rush all in in the first stage or I just don't rush at all. Like I go I don't know, to th third or fourth age before I attack. So it's very interesting. That should give me some bonus food real quick. Okay, perfect. 
Now that's already capped out, so I'm just going to build some farms. And then I'm capped out there too. Perfect. Get some gold there. I might as well make a, mo make a wonder in this game. If, um, if I get this bonus thing. Bonus for wonders. Let's see what he's got. Citizens produced faster and cheaper. He's already got an army. No way, he's rushing. <laughs> he is rushing. Another wonder relic. Or whatever it's called. That's cool. Huh. Oh. Tobacco. Oh, there's already a fight going on. So the enemy's rushing. So is this person. Seems like our team's winning. Definitely. Another rush. What? Well, I'm not rushing. It's crazy, though. Alright, I'll get more resources. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> well, let's see. Ten here. Ten here. Ten here. We'll just see if. Oh no, that's the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. Build. Oh, he's got that one. Nice, nice. So another good one. Take that. How's the rush going? Okay. City prevention. It seems like green is going to be the one rushed by both of these. Hmm. Population. Alright. There goes my pop. <clears throat> Okay, I think that army just missed the capital city. Which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, there it is. Yep, there's the capital. Onondaga. Okay. I need gold. Not sure what I can do about that. Um... Hmm. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> That's both of us. They're just taking cities. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know, I could probably make an army at this point, but that is not the goal today. I wanna upgrade this. I'll upgrade this, expand, and then I can make an army. Okay, so green's pushed back because he went for rush. Yellow lost the city, so they're both behind. But our team's really behind too, yeah. Just because we rushed. Okay, great. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, Teal's right at my borders here. What is he? He's Nubians. Power of Trade. Alright, I'll take the middle city here. I'll have to attack that one. <laughs> the city's so awkward here. In the middle of the enemy's territory. We just captured one. Alright. Need a bit more... <clears throat> Here, I'm get more wood. Lumber mill. Make a granary. Whoa. So that's how I send resources. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> 
Hmm. Okay. Well, that's good. A little bit more trade. Oh, I need barracks. Huh. Yeah, yellow's getting owned. It's pretty good for us. Capital moved. Alright, wow, that doesn't concern me. So I need military level 2. Or I'll get that. Probably don't need another barracks just yet. So do we. I'll spam these. More farms. Okay. Another university. Wow, this is brutal. So green's still not able to defend, nor is yellow. They just got a tower up and that's it. Ah, uh, still no attrition damage. Like that red damage thing that happens when you breach territory. Alright, I want to take over this this lumber spot. Hmm. Seven. Six. Seven. There we go. Alright. That's a good army. No stable for you, buddy. Oh, he's got a... He's got a thing. Yep, I'll destroy the tower. Get more catapults. Hey, I'm healing. Wow. I guess my general heals me. Oh, he just took more land. That's brutal. Okay, got barbarians going. Uh, need more of those guys. Stop. I'm taking some damage here. Okay. Tower down. He must have got a temple. That's the only way he could just take more more land like that. I think. Um, <clears throat> okay. To me it looks like I am getting attrition damage. Yep, there's red spots on my soldiers. That means I'm taking damage. But he doesn't seem to have an army. So I'm gonna do is just advance. And try to tech up. Okay. More barracks. Oh, blue's coming in to help. Cool. Yes. Yeah, this guy's got nothing. Okay, perfect. Oh, but he's taking more. He's taking more land. What's going on here? He just got a large city, that's why. I see what's happening. Okay, so there goes my lumber spot. But I need to take that back. I am literally in dire need of that. Wait, he's got barbarians too. Oh, no, that was me. Never mind. Okay, I can't let this tower go up. It's building with a lot of guys, too. Oh, I don't want that tower. Oh, man. Yes, city's mine now. Okay. The tower is up, though. We went with, like, ten guys, at least. Alright, let me upgrade these guys. Start spamming these guys. That should be good. Need more knowledge. I need more knowledge. There's a funny town for that. Okay, so he lost his scholars. Losing this city should deal sufficient damage 
for uh, for him to go down in the long run. I am up a thousand points over him, so that's perfect. He just has cavalry in the back. Very unfortunate for me. Wait. Oh, I see. No, I lost the city! Okay. I need that city. Legit need it. My resources are not going to gather without that. Alright, I just need more infantry. Ah! <laughs> it keeps taking the city! Holy! Okay. Alright, no more of that. <laughs> I need this. Alright, what's going on? I could upgrade that. So what I'm gonna do is just go for uh, more commerce. Yeah, more resources. Get a temple going, why not? I guess I already got one, eh? Oh yeah, it's just assimilating. Okay. I noticed it was expensive. Oh crap. You can kill my units in the back. Alright, I'll get trebuchet. Okay. Need a little bit more wood. Oh, did I lose the city again? No way. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. Every single time he captures it, it my timer restarts for the assimilation process, so it's very unfortunate. I'm gonna lose the rest of my siege too. Yeah, I put it next to the stable, that's kind of a uh, silly move. Okay, stay here guys. Okay, I can- oh, that's my favorite thing ever! Here, I'm gonna stop researching the science until I get that. Is that even worth, um... You know what? I'll keep going while I'm already at it. Just upgrade stuff. But that's my favorite thing ever. Science is reduced by 25%. I use science all the time, and that's a good one too. All of these are good ones, actually. I gotta capture uh, as much as I can. Okay, stay here. I don't want him recapturing. Alright, this city's gonna be mine now. I'm halfway there. Legit halfway there. Okay, I'll take this one too. How's my temple? Upgrade everything. Okay, I'm doing pretty good. I just need a granary here too. I already have. Yep, I already got one there. So I should be maxing out that. I'm gonna get a smelter here. I'm gonna max that up too, and I'm pretty much ready to advance. I'm just waiting for this to happen. So while that's happening, um, I'm just gonna make more units. Okay, there we go. Maxing army. He's going heavy on those horses. Alright, city simulated. How are these guys doing? So they lost their city over here. But uh, yellow and green took a lot of damage. A lot. So they're down in points. Way down, actually. Uh, blue's coming to help. That's pretty cool. Alright. Kill that. Uh, population limit. Oh, no. Okay, what am I doing? I'm going to advance. Um, very soon. I'm going to get population first. <laughs> and right after I get this, I'm going to advance as well. My science is now cheap, cheap, cheap. So that's perfect. Gotta regather my army real quick. I do have a nice army going. Okay, advancing is super cheap now. Super cheap. Uh, max that. Oh, I need, um... Okay, hold on. I'm gonna cancel... Or, wait. I just wanna add this to my queue list. There we go. That's all I needed. Cool. Okay. I need uh, more caravans for more gold. So I'm probably going to upgrade all my units again. And while I do that, I might as well take over his capital city. I may have a tower up there or something. No, I'll just go one city at a time. It's alright. I don't need to rush for it. Taking over his capital though would give me a lot of resources and stuff. Okay, everything's being upgraded. I need wood. I need lots of wood. 
I need commerce. Yep, that's happening right now. Okay. Oh yeah, he's got a tower. Okay, he is getting a lot of land. Are you guys seeing this? That's the second pushback. Alright, alright. Um, so that's upgraded. I got my units upgrading. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Yep, I was going to upgrade this. For which I need a little bit more wood for. And perfect. Is that a fort? No, that's a siege factory. Yep, okay. If he advances um, far enough, I think at this point you can make a fort. Yes, you can. You only need the third age. So, those are pretty, pretty uh, dangerous for me. It's alright. I'm doing pretty good. Everything's fine. I'll upgrade that for my supply wagon. And I got lots of everything, honestly. Um, oh. He's killing my siege. Alright. What's happening here? What's happening here? Pikeman. Alright, that's alright. I'm gonna capture... Yep. I'm basically way more advanced than he is. So my army is just going to decimate all his guys, no problem. And capture the city. After I do that, I guess um, I can go for his capital. Take this guy out. No problem. Yeah, there's Yellow coming in to help. He's only in the medieval age as well. We're good. We're good. You can't kill my siege from the back, buddy. That is not nice. Alright, I need a little bit more gold. Because I want to get more science upgrades, but... Screw that, I'm just going to advance. Going all in on military this time. Rushing through the ages. Everybody's in medieval age. <laughs> That's because everybody rushed, except Teal. But yeah, he's getting owned now. Um, I'm going to go in from the back. That's an easier entrance. Oh, I don't want to lose this city though. Do I have a second library yet? I really need a second library. It's only 80 wood, so I'm really not losing anything there. Okay, I'll upgrade my health. Oh, I can upgrade science. Yes, my favorite upgrade. Okay. And I want to upgrade my supply. Oh, I can't. Okay, that's alright. Upgrading military soon. So I'm going to do is um, just make a little bit more guys here, just in case something happens. Like that, right there. That's terrible. I really gotta stay, stick around here and defend this location. Okay, there's everything being upgraded. Another age into the future. Enlightenment age. Alright, there goes that. Oh, I can change my government, right? So keep, uh, yep, non-library technology is 20% cheaper, provides production, building, and healing benefits. I might take the healing, actually. Supply, siege, and mounted combat. I don't really have that many mounted units. I'm gonna go for, uh, healing benefits. Okay, I'll take this one out. And then I'm gonna go straight for the capital city. That's about it. Yeah, this seems to be my favorite now. I'm loving it. Honest. Oh, there's the upgrade. Yep, more knowledge. And I'm gonna go straight for uh, science level seven after I get this. I need more supply wagon, so I don't take attrition damage. Thank you, thank you. Okay, well because he's defending here, I might as well take over the city real quick. <laughs> like there's nothing there. He's expanding on that side, but it doesn't really matter. As long as I take over his capital city, that's GG. He just advanced. Huh. It was cool seeing that city change over. Oh, there's still resources here. Wow. Okay, science, last level. I get to see the map too with all that stuff. That's awesome. Okay, do I have more uh, universities? I gotta max out my knowledge production. Probably this city. That's my next one. Assembly. Oh, right here. There we go. Um, yeah, I just want to advance. There's really not much I can upgrade right now, except that over there. Oh, stop, stop. 
Okay. Army! Okay, we're good. Ha, ah, they're gonna lose this. Okay, so I'm gonna take over his capital city now. You know what would suck? If he moved his uh, capital city right now over here. Because <laughs> he can do that. <laughs> oh, there's a tower there. Yeah, that keeps gonna fall real quick. And I'm gonna keep on firing. Ha ha ha. Was that good or what? Okay, let's advance. Um, go for that. What is this? Levi Amas. Massing up Levi. I forgot what L Levi. I don't know what that word means in French. Um, that's alright. I don't really speak French at all, so I mean, it's not that important. Cool. Capital's mine. And look at the plunder. Look at the plunder. Look at the plunder. Oh, plus 500 everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. I get to keep that, too. Alright, so I gotta... I have too much gold now. I gotta get more resources. Oh, there's a... There's a fortress there or whatever. Haha! <laughs> Getting guns out. <laughs> like, I mean, uh, assault rifles and stuff. It's kind of funny. What's happening here? A little bit of a battle, but he's got a castle. I mean, there's really not much to fear there. Alright, I'm gonna go for uh, all the oil on the map. As well as plus 500 oil from the government. Sounds like America to me. And... Oh, what's going on? Okay, upgrade that. Okay, I'm about to lose this city. Um, it's not too much of a problem. Not gonna lie. It's not too much of a problem. Okay, after I build this, we can make that. Cool, okay. We can go here straight away. Uh, a little bit more oil. Um, a little bit more oil. I didn't even see that one over there. So, so he's got one minute to recapture his capital city, which is not gonna happen at all. And so, oh, I don't even have a tower up yet. So he's not taking any attrition damage, right? Um, I gotta put a stop to that. Make a quick stockade. And take care of that. No problem. Oh, hey. Kill him. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Just gonna make more oil here. And believe it or not, I could actually advance right now to the next stage. Which I'm gonna do. <laughs> no questions on that. Alright. The seventh age. Modern age. Okay. It's weird how many hundreds of years I'm ahead of these guys. I just captured this. See, I'm about to hit 70% territory. That means we would win if I didn't disable that 70% thing. So that's going to be 80% now. Which is still kind of nearby. If I capture the rest of Teal, we should be nearing up 80%. Um, yep. Alright, so how's my library doing? So I think um, I just need this upgrade for the military, and then I'm pretty much pretty much good. This oil. Okay, so here's the attrition damage thing that I haven't gotten yet. 11 seconds before this city's mine. Then I gotta assimilate it. Okay, about to upgrade these real quick. Woo! Defeated. That's right. Haha. <laughs> Okay. That's all these cities are giving mine. More oil. Wow. Pretty much capped out on everything right now. Um, oh, I know what I like to do. I, I said I was going to build a wonder, right? And I totally forgot to do that. But here's my wonder. It's, it's the Eiffel Tower. While I'm at it, I'll make another wonder. The Terracotta Army. So I get some free units, basically. I totally forgot to do that earlier. I should have done that earlier. Alright, while I'm at it, I'm just going to upgrade everything. Upgrades are so cheap right now, holy. So cheap. Alright, so where's Yellow's capital? Right there. Um, that's my next target. 
Germans are just really good. I love Germans. Mm. The one Civ that was extremely annoying and difficult to play was the Lakota Civ. So I was playing them against the 2v2 tougher, and it it was just really tough because uh, Lakota cannot make any farms, so I have to rely on having more and more units to produce food, which is terrible because if I lose units, you know, I'm losing my food production. So I, uh, I had a really hard time keeping up my food production late game. In the end, I did manage to win. I was pretty happy for that and didn't expect that at all. But, you know, it was just uh, it was just not that fun. Hey, my buddy's coming to help. That's awesome. All right, more upgrades. Another one of these. Everything's pretty much upgraded. I think I'm ready to advance. Um, here, I'll upgrade this. What do I need? Lots of knowledge, right? Yep. I'm pretty much ready. I just need more resources. Okay. I'll get commerce up. Oh, I can buy it, right? Look at this. If I spend 20 gold, I can buy uh, a lot of metal. Haha! <laughs> that's, that's totally worth it. I'm just gonna buy this then. Okay, let's go to Delhi. India's mine now. 75% world captured. As soon as I get the capital here, it's game over. Green's capital is right here out in the open. Oh, that could be taken away easy. Unfortunately, the AIs don't really know where to attack efficiently, so... Uh-oh. I can't get this... Yeah, I can't let that castle go up. That's what I was going to say. Okay, let's capture. Where's my supply wagon? There it is. Okay, and um, I'm still missing one more. Ah, there we go. I see what's happening. Information age, here I come. He's about to die in two minutes. And that's GG. Maxed out gold production, maxed out knowledge. Uh, I just gotta I just gotta make sure he doesn't. Oh, and a wonder victory is incoming. Wow, I forgot about that too. Holy cow. Okay. Whenever I play Resonations again, I'm just gonna disable Wonder Victory or, or you know change it up a little bit. Do this and that here and there. I love this game, honestly. This is awesome. Alright, I'm about to get the last tier of units. Oh yeah, and I finished my Terracotta army, right? So, here's my free army coming out. Oh, special forces, okay. Alright, he's pretty much dead. Like, I don't know. I could at least capture more if I wanted to. He's only in the Enlightenment Age, not even. He's in the uh, Gunpowder Age. Gunpowder Age versus Modern Age going Information Age. So, yeah, going uh, up through ages really gives you the upper hand in this. Already maxed up. Oh, we can get another one of those. Cool. <coughs> I'm already, you know, maxed out our resources. There's not much point in upgrading these, but I just got bribed. Oh, I keep forgetting how to do, how to uh, detect spies, like, before they capture me. I think I need a spy of my own, and that's the only way. I never use spies, so that's kind of, a uh, Yeah. Kind of awkward. So look at this. Retake capital in 10 seconds, and he also needs to retake capital in 2 minutes. That is literally game over. No questions about it. Game should end right about now. Defeated. <laughs> now it's green. Oh wow, he's got an army here. Eh? Wonder timer started. Oh man, territory timer's about to start. You know, everything is about to time time out for us to win. Oh, I can upgrade my units, eh? Might as well. Territory victory! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man. Everything's just maxed out. <laughs> maxed out. Oh man. I can spam howitzers. Strong versus aircraft. That's another one I have. Another unit I never really use that much. But that's pretty useful in the late game, actually. So he can't really recapture that because he's already out of the game, right? I think that's how it works. Oh my god. I, I'm literally maxed out on everything right now. 
We got about 40 seconds until we win the whole game. But if we can capture his last city before that timer goes off, then we can win even quicker. So let's see if that can be done. He's got a fortress here. A castle, I should say. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to go straight for the city. I got 25 seconds. And that's it. 25 seconds. I got 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, GG. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. These are his resources. Wow. I didn't know I could check it like that. So these are his resources. Uh, let's see how Blue was doing. Blue was, Blue was doing, you know? Not too bad. Alright, that was a good game. Good game. I love Resonation Nations, guys. Um, I could play this versus people. It's been a while. Um, I might do videos on that, because I know versus bots might get boring for you guys or something. But, yeah, it was a nice game. No nukes. I didn't really make any nukes. Nobody got to that stage of the game in this one. And... Yeah. That was a great game. Let's check the stats out. Um, okay. Yeah. See, this is also why I love Rise of Nations. Even the statistics are so detailed. Just like the entire game. Everything is so detailed. You can tell they put a lot of work into this when they made the game. A lot of work. They committed to it. Okay, hold on. Uh, we got economy. I maxed out on that too, eh? That's awesome. And all the ages. That's what granted me the upper hand, I believe. Um, and then speed too. Well, that's these are bots, right? So, good game, good game.